everyone, it's Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome into my studio. If you are new here, why don't you subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes in the corner of the screen. And please uh, tell YouTube you want to be notified whenever I post new content. If you don't tell YouTube that you want to know what's going on, you won't be alerted when I post a, a new video. So to do that, I think there's a bell that you can click on and that should get you all set up. Today I bring you a Dollar Tree haul with lots of new, new, new items. And yeah, and I can't believe some of the items that are in the store now considering it's summer, but hold on to your hats, <laughs> sit down, because I do have some stuff for fall. So. Uh, first off, let's get some storage things out of the way. I picked up two of these like jar containers. They have a round lid and they have these like, I like these handles so it's easier to pull something off the shelf. And I like that they are flat on the side. I bought two that way. They're just, they just space saving in the cupboard or on a shelf. So I picked these up and actually I'll be using them in this room for some some stuff that I have. So that I also picked up some tea towels. I only saw one of each in my store, so that's what I got. I got this one that says we make a lovely pair. I think this is very cute. And this one says let your true colors shine through and this one is turn the beat around like the song <laughs> so uh and frankly i don't want anybody in my family to use these because they don't understand that wiping up spaghetti sauce with this stains them and then mom's not happy you know i'm just well actually it's my husband that's the worst culprit of that uh yeah so these will be just you know for decorative purposes <sighs> comment down below if you too have to deal with uh husbands or children that use your pretty towels to wipe up things that stain okay so new in the wall decor stickers uh there were there were quite a few that were new i, I did not take pictures I, I should have done that well i found this one and you can't really tell so i'll just get try to show you up close the little picture that they show will it focus i'm not sure that it's focusing and i'm shaking a little bit right now i had too much caffeine <laughs> but yeah that's what it is so you have like mason jars and uh it says our it's like a sign so the the sticker looks like a big wooden sign and it says our family recipes and it says one cup of faith a handful of forgiveness, a pinch of kindness, two spoonfuls of respect, a big scoop of patience, a really big scoop of patience in this house, endless love. And then you see these mason jars <laughs> filled with uh, yummies. So I thought this was a really a beautiful wall decal to put, especially in the kitchen. So I got that. Another thing I picked up to go in my kitchen is a, get this, 2020 calendar. Yes, you heard me right. The 2020 12 month calendars have arrived at Dollar Tree. So I saw this one, I loved it, and I said I have to get this for my kitchen. And this is what the back looks like so you can see each month and i just thought that is going to be so nice in my kitchen for 2020. something i picked up that normally goes in the kitchen are these uh bamboo placemats and it says cotton concepts yeah but it's a bam they're bamboo placemats and i actually bought 
these to have on hand as a craft material. Um, I, you know, I just thought there would be possibilities of reusing this in some DIY to do something beachy, natural looking, maybe fairy garden stuff. I'm not sure. So I bought two actually to have in my stash. Now, another item that I picked up, and these had just been put out at my Dollar Tree. Uh, it's too bad they didn't put these out before for Canada Day, but yeah, they have these dish dishes. They are only in red with this maple leaf. So, and I don't think this is intended for fall. I'm pretty sure this was probably intended for Canada Day, but they took them out of the box late. But we could use this in the fall as well, and Christmas, anytime, Canada Day, whatever. And yeah, but it's a beautiful red maple leaf. So, gotta love that. <clears throat> Another item I picked up in the kitchen stuff that is going to be stashed away for future craft project, if I don't use it in this room for what its intended purpose is, is this pink plastic tray. And... I know there's lots of DIYs that can be done with this, as well as the fact that it is a uh, little tray, and it might be a cat-sized surfboard. <laughs> or cat-sized toboggan. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, so yeah, I got this. And then I had the brilliant idea that if I, if I, they only had one of this color. If they had had like a whole bunch, wouldn't these look great on the wall as a big flower? So, and you know, this would be the petal. Anyway, so, but there was only one, like I said, of that color, pink. So, uh, another thing I picked up is this round mirror. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. So it's just a round mirror and a little cheap plastic frame. But when I saw this, I thought porthole, I thought flower center. I just thought there was lots of DIY possibilities with this. I thought skating rink. Uh, just like so many ideas went through my mind. And I said, I got to get it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I just had lots of ideas, you know, coming at me. And I said, okay, I got to pick that up. So I showed you the 2020 big wall calendar. They also have agendas. Uh, they have some student planners out and small agendas. My store was just starting to pull out the new stuff, the new fall, new back to school stuff, new uh, planners and calendars for the new school year in September and the new year 2020. So my store doesn't have everything yet or didn't when I stopped by the other day. So, but I picked up this little 2020 uh, mini pocket calendar. Well, it's a pocket calendar, I guess. Uh, just so I could keep with me and jot down anything that comes up that I need to write down for next year. So I will be ready with that. And with the planners and the calendars, they had these, they called them sticky... I'm going to get my other glasses. What are these? Sticky planner pockets. So they're a set of little planner pockets. Three self-adhesive pockets. Each pocket measures five by three by three by three. And peel and stick to your planners, notebooks, journals, and calendars. So it's by TF Publishing. So I have a feeling this is... Uh, you'll see it now and you won't see it again type of product this is not really something that dollar tree usually carries but yeah so there's three in here those are the styles of each little pocket so i thought why not little planner pockets could be used anywhere not just in planners so i got that now i got these natural scented uh, room sprays. So I've been looking forward to finding these at one of my Dollar Trees. I'd seen other people haul it and I hadn't been able to find it. So I'm happy it finally showed up. And this is, you know, room spray, but in a very convenient little 
package. So I already have one of these in my car and I'm planning to keep one of these to travel with to keep in my, I won't put this in my carry-on but in my um, checked luggage for when we travel. It's, I think it's nice to have a little bit of room spray. And this is, since it's not aerosol, it's safe to bring on an airplane. Well, it's, yeah, in your, in your check luggage, because I think this exceeds the size for the carry-on. Not sure, not sure. Got that. I got these pretty napkins. I, these have been there for a while. I never bothered to pick them up. But I thought the colors were really pretty, and since I like to collect lots of napkins for lots of DIY projects, and for using for napkins as they are, I had to get those. My store had has put out more of the uh, Color Factory uh, import from Multicraft, these little screw top jars. We got four in a pack. There were a lot at my store. I I think they they're slowly restocking for fall and back to school. And yes, yeah, so I, I I've been using several of these lately, so I just wanted to get more. Now, since they have the wall calendars and pocket planners, and that I sh I've already shown you, they also have these new calendars. Uh undated dry erase calendars now they come in different styles I believe I got one of each through that there is I got four they seem all different to me uh, I was just trying to show you the little picture up here of what they would look like there are stickers these are all stickers to use on your wall calendar there's one they could see here it's like all blues um, and purples and I think this is the one here this one has a no that's not that's not the same thing this one has a different theme it's black and white and you can see pictures of them out side of the box uh, that they stand in at Dollar Tree and there was also this one looks like the other one a lot but it's actually blue and the other one's green and then there's also this one so yeah I'm not playing them giving them justice here by not unrolling them but I really don't want to unroll them right now because I won't know where to put them until I need to use them and some of these I will be giving away to uh, they're for they're not all for me so I don't want to unroll them sorry <laughs> uh, speaking of big rolls they also have some new banner art paper in the teaching tree line so they have this leaf motif it's like tropical leaves you get on here 28 inches by 5 feet they also have this wooden one which I got and they also had white I didn't get the white one and they have this like stone or brick looking one so I got one of each of those. Not sure what I will be do using these for, but they could be practical for all sorts of uses. They are so, the intention is to use these as banner papers, you know, to either uh, use in a classroom to maybe decorate a board or whatever the teachers want to use them for. And also in the new teaching uh, teaching tree stuff that they're putting out they're getting ready with the back to school they have these foam counting blocks so they're perfect little cubes of foam and uh, sure these are great for children when they're learning math they can use these for counting but I got these really for some sort of craft purpose down the road that I have no idea what it will be for but I uh, will have them along the same lines I got these fraction circles 
And when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. These would have been so fun. I, I did homeschool my two boys uh, for a few years, and not their entire education, just a few years. And uh, yeah, we could have used this when we came to studying fractions and math. That would have been really, really helpful. So it's hard to show you, but eat. the circles are all segmented. Eat, there's four, no, three different circles with different segmentations. So you can practice, you know, like your sixteenths, your quarters, I guess, or halves, yeah, quarters, and such, so, that was really nice, and I just thought maybe I'll, I'll have a craft purpose for these as well. Also, in the back to school, uh, I really like these, and they're, used, they're hard to find, so I snagged four up while I saw them. The reusable dry erase pockets from Teaching Tree. Now these are great for teachers, of course, like they show here, they put in a uh, a project or an exercise for the students to do, and then they could just use a, a wipeable marker so they could, you know, instead of making tons of copies, they just have one sheet that gets, you know, passed around, which is really great, especially if you're homeschooling, this saves you on photocopies. Uh, but I also thought that this is practical for me for putting in other things that I need to store in my office here. And another thing that I thought this would be useful for is having a, a special needs child when we were working very hard on setting a routine. We would have charts everywhere in our house and we had one by the, the door for what to do in the morning before you left for school, what to do when you came back from school. And he had this, this big chart with little signs with Velcros and he would check off his activities. So I thought this would also be helpful for the same purpose that maybe you could write, you know, brush your teeth, you know, get dressed and the child could use a check mark or something. And then uh, the parent would only have this plastic pouch to invest in and only one sheet of paper to make, you know, the chart instead of having a whole bunch of papers. So uh, that was one thought I had for you. All right. Also in the back to school, they have these Jot desktop organizers. They're basically the screw tops and they have them in different colors. I picked them with the pink. Uh, yeah, they just had a lot of different colors. Great for organizing in your office, your craft room, anywhere really. So that is new. I saw these decorative tapes. I don't know if they're new, but I had not seen this color combination before. So I got that. And in the summer stuff, I had never noticed this sign before, or they just found it at the back of the store. I'm not sure. But uh, I thought it had really pretty colors. And it says, my favorite color is sunset. And I just thought this was perfect. These were perfect colors for this room. But what I also thought of is that I could also repurpose this into some other kind of sign for another DIY or decoration. It also made me think of a big tag. <laughs> so, uh, you know, dual purpose for this one. And, oh, I did purchase a planner, um, more like, I don't know, regular paper size planner. And this is the style I chose. It says 2020. This will be good for me for pre-planning things for the new year in six months. <laughs> so I told you they were putting out the back to school stuff. Well, they had already started putting out Halloween stuff. Don't write me about this one. Not my fault. I'm just telling you what's going on. So in the Halloween stuff, they had these felt kitty cat craft kits. I got two of these. Surprise, surprise, they are black cats. So, of course, I got them. They also have these little wooden stickers. 
that you can finish any way you want or leave as is. And they have some little wooden witch's hats with the little sticky back. And last but not least, I got these little wooden kitty cats, scaredy cats. Uh, you got five in here. So this is color your own ornament. And that is that for my Dollar Tree haul. Sorry, I'm sorry if you feel discouraged that there's already fall and back to school stuff coming in the stores considering it's the beginning of July. I, I too was like, what? I even saw Christmas wrapping paper. I think that's way too early. I'm not, so not ready for that. Summer just started. But hey, you know, stores uh, have to be ready for people, so that's what they're doing. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, share. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.